Yo, 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 it's your boy Slugging the Bing. You guys already know what the deal is. You guys already see the man over here coming in global. And yes, he's been announced. So he's officially coming out on the 24th. And this man is going to be cracking. I'm tell you why. So I'm going to show you guys his kit in the beginning of the video. Then we're going to show a true showcasing of end game content that Utah will destroy, annihilate it. And we will. Definitely show you guys recollection bits at the very end of the video, but stay tuned. I got y'all. All right, we are here. Let's go check out his first skill. So all his skills gonna be at level ten max out. So let's see. Deal one hundred eighty percent melee taijutsu damage to the selected enemy. So his first skill is gonna be a uh, taijutsu. So let's see. Bam. So just a clean 180 from right there. All right now we're going to be looking at his second skill. So his second skill is going to be an AOE. So what it does is deal 135% Jujutsu damage to all enemies. Decreasing all enemy critical resistance by 15% for 2 turns. Depending on uh, own Jujutsu and enemy remaining HP instant kill is triggered. So... This could, uh, for some enemy, is included, right? So you can't really do this to bosses. They're normally for the smaller bosses. So let's go try skill 2. It's going to be an AoE and also a crank a debuff. Very strong. All right. Now, here we are. Going to go to his third skill. Uh, deal combined damage equal to 137% Taijutsu and 189% Jujutsu. And uh, 172% uh, Taijutsu and Jujutsu, uh, 258% to the selected enemy. Wow, that was definitely a mouthful. But you know what I mean? He's going to be hitting hard. So, of course, you'll, you'll notice that he's based on Taijutsu and Jujutsu. But let's hit up his third skill. So... You might think you want to scale off that, but not really. But let's go check out his ultimate. So his ultimate, it's this. It's going to be an AOE dealing almost 2,000 damage. The only person that could do this is Hollow Purple Gojo and alongside Yuta. Yuta is going to be wild. So this is going to be a about 2,000% range Jujutsu damage to all enemies. Uh, increase own Taijutsu by 20%. And Jujutsu 20% for 4 turn. Uh, unable to fail ultimate gauge. So he got a cooldown of 4 turns. Very, very powerful. And let's go pop this bad boy out. Beautiful. Bro, Yuta is just amazing. And he just hits like a truck. And there is a little thing that you guys should know too when it comes to uh, when he does with his auto skill of course he if you have allies and if the allies so i'm gonna show right here right because i have to might as well show his whole kit you normally i don't do this but this is nuts All right so his auto skill won't let you die right at the start of the each turn if an ally hp is uh, 60 percent or below and uh, own curse energy is 10 or above recover all allies hp by 25 percent uh excluding himself so he doesn't heal himself uh, decrease own curse energy by 10 so when he's using this healing effect you do have to use 10 curse energy so be careful so if you're wondering why your yuta is not healing when your allies is below 60 it's probably most likely because uh you don't have curse energy on your yuta right uh, increase own taijutsu damage by 10 and jujutsu by 10 so just massive and fail on a uh, skill gauge by 200 up to three times during battle so yeah yuta only could do this three times but you could see how cracked this man is the dude the man yuta is just man he's just on another level and on top of that he do have this skill this where a uh, rika come and play right so when when you're getting attacked by a melee attack right there's a certain chance to deal 120 percent melee jujutsu damage to the uh to the enemy so pretty much it's like a counter so you don't really take you don't take damage right you re you just throw damage back at them if it's a melee attack so you do have to be careful if you're going against range unit 
but then this thing clutch when they do pock ball man but that's pretty much the skill for utah right there amazing amazing unit let's just finish this thing off right amazing amazing very powerful unit as you guys can see man what a beast right now we're gonna go show you guys a true showcase in a very difficult stage so i'll catch you guys there all right as you guys can see i got my team of course we got inyumaki you got momo we got uh kaido and yuta is gonna be our main dps -er. So let's go dive in. So of course Inimaki, we got him in there just to get Yuta his OT super quick. And yeah, we're just going to start flaming on this guy. So of course, the main thing is you do want to consume, uh, like keep your your energy up upright. So just try to do your skill uh, 1. But his priority skill is definitely skill 3, right? Because that's the biggest damage hitter. And as you can see, Yuta's retaliation right there because the target over there is taking that so you guys you just love to see it man just love to see it Utah's gonna be hitting like a truck right here and this is on stage 29 in the tower mode you guys these things are rough so just because I'm over here making things look easy trust me when I tell you this is not an easy task right so we're gonna go there we got Utah OT coming up next turn and we're going to start rocking. Utah is going to be healing as you can see. Beautiful because Inumaki is uh under the 30%. So it does proc even if only one of your allies is below 60%. That's when his ability procs. Right? It's not all your allies. It's at least one of them on the field. So there you guys have it. So let's go over here. I'm going to go buff. Buff. And Yuta is gonna nuke. And as you guys see, Yuta hits very hard. The man is a beast. So you guys gonna see it right here. Right? Right after these combos. But the, the downside of Yuta pretty much is pretty much when he uses ultimate, he got a four turn cooldown as you guys saw in the beginning of the video where I explained that. But look how much damage this man could cause very powerful like this is some true in game mode if you guys see the hp of the enemy they are no slouch at a hunt at level 136 but i just got a, i just built a really good team and i just know what i'm doing so that's why it's an easy task for me as you can see i didn't use the shield over here because i know uh momo uh, reducing that ultimate gauge down so it's definitely not needed so of course I can't do nothing here. I'm gonna try to stun with uh, Inumaki and just keep on hitting with Yuta. And we're gonna be cleaning this thing out. You definitely do not want this enemy to start hitting you because when he hits you, oh yeah, you're in trouble. So let's let's not let him hit us. Ooh, we might be getting hit right here. Oh, but nope, Yuta does not allow it so i believe after now the four turn is up now we could uh go for the energy gauge now we could start procking getting a uh, utah ultimate back up and running and we just gonna start annihilating so let's go skill three definitely is priority his his best team is pretty much the team you guys seeing on the screen right here of course if you don't have the ssr momo you could definitely use yaga yaga is gonna go clutch mode for you guys so all right we're keeping our curse energy and it seemed like this boss couldn't even touch us but i could tell you one thing though if this boss try to touch us it's gonna hurt it truly is gonna hurt so we have to be careful here. So right now, I could lower down the ultimate gauge. Let's do this. Uh, I'm not going to use the shield. So I'm going to use Momo again. Uh, to lower down the ultimate. Because we definitely don't want him to use the OT. Or our team, our whole team will be wiped. Looking good. And we got our second OT. Yeah, the way it's looking, y'all. I just make things look easy. It's just crazy because it's it's truly not this easy when you're when you find these enemies. It's really not that easy. Or maybe Yuta just keeping everybody alive make it like so easy. But yeah, 
in some stages, Utah is going to dominate and he's just going to he just going to go like easy cooking, man. Easy cooking. But then there's going to be other stages that Utah's going to have problem with, but don't worry about that. You can get over the hump with Utah. You just need to build your team wisely. As you can see, Utah hitting really hard. This OT, we're getting hit with the OT, and we're going to be hitting, getting a lot of poison damage. So we're going to have to try and make this quick. Or this guy's going to keep on like pointing us, but his health is pretty low. Utah is going to be like on stage 29. Utah is very perfect. I actually see the poison damage. And Utah is just going to do a, uh, you know, when he heals, it's going to be clutch. But so far, we're looking pretty good. Just got to keep everything up. Momo OT is coming. Nice. Oh, health, health looking really low. But uh, we're fine. We can't do this yet. I'm going to apply a stun here. Going to do Momo here. And, and you tell one more. Oh, damn. We didn't get the stun. But it's okay. Maybe Momo could get the stun. Even though, like, the boss health is really low like this. And Yuta with the kill, man. Dude is procking. So, there you guys have it. That's going to be... Utah showcase on floor 29. This is a very very hard stage But it is a really good stage for Utah because I was going against a melee attack uh, Enemy which you know Rika did clutch at that point But you guys saw how like I was looking like I was winning through the whole time But you see like you play even longer Our team almost got wiped but Utah with the heal definitely clutch it for us but there you guys have it and of course at the end of the video i always have recommendation for the recollection bits so let's go there all right y'all we're at the end so this is the recommendation that i got for utah for recollection bits of course it's going to be on a global side of the game but of course these one are actually still good on utah even in the jp launch so just go in Number one recommendation is definitely this one right here. It's the grand ex, uh, the grand whatever, right? This thing right here. As you guys see, if you guys have this thing, this one is very good for Utah because what it does, it increases Taijutsu damage by 30% for three turns and Jujutsu, right? So both of those things for three turns, very powerful. As you can see, uh, Utah kit do rely on Taijutsu, but not fully like all Tajis, you like his ultimate rely on jujitsu and his skill and then all that other stuff right but the thing is really good with this memory you would want to have this thing at least at like plus three when you're using this with utah or at least plus one right because the reason why because uh on this passive at the start of the turn you increase damage up by uh 20 percent very good so utah is is one of those guys that just want to dish out massive massive damage of course he want to get his ultimate up super quick too and that's why i got this one for number one for utah but the next one i'm gonna have to for you guys obviously everybody is going to talk about it. it's definitely the non-standard do i have to say much about it Increasing Jujutsu damage as you know Utah when Utah's ulting he's do high Jujutsu damage And the brother's gonna be hitting super hard and of course if you got this at plus one You're going uh, in at the start of the battle you're gonna get that 200 ultimate gauge which Utah really wants to send Josh get his ultimate gauge out so he could do that You know get that four turn cooldown so he could keep on going and going and rinse and repeat so that's going to be my second recommendation. And of course, I will have my last one. And everybody should have this one. So don't worry if you don't have the two, two one I recommend. But if you do have pride, you definitely want this one. This is one of the better one for most uh, most user that are using uh, Jiu-Jitsu, right? And of course, uh, this one works really good with um, Utah a lot. Because Utah have Taijutsu and Jujutsu uh, ability. So you could do that double stack if you know how to do the double stack with this Pride memory. I do have a video on it if you are wondering how Pride works and why this one works so, so well with Utah. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys. That's going to be my three recommendations for the global launch of the game. And there's still 
the best for Utah till this day, even in the JP in present time. So, Bob, catch you guys on the next one. It's your boy Slugger, and you guys already know what the deal is. We out of here. One.